With Secret Invasion being the latest offering from Marvel Studios, we once again find ourselves asking the same question. Is Marvel TV canon? And in this case, is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. canon to the MCU? Well, an update from Disney Plus says yes. Okay, so let's talk about what exactly is going on. Well, the bio over on Marvel.com, which was updated after the first episode of Secret Invasion related to Nick Fury, goes into the details in regards to what Nick Fury has been doing around the MCU since the first time we uh, see him chronologically in the timeline. And as you continue to read, there's an interesting paragraph there that says, and I quote, Within his own organization, when John Garrett, a promising protege of Fury's, is uncovered as a longtime Hydra operative, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s director steps in to lend a personal hand to Phil Coulson in taking Garrett down permanently. Okay, so once again, there we go. The bio says it. It's in there. They're mentioning events of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So once again, we kind of have this idea that it's all connected and does matter. Now, I do want to bring up something that a lot of people forgot. Ahead of She-Hulk, and after the appearance of Matt Murdock in Spider-Man No Way Home, Marvel.com edited the page, updating all the events, officially stating that prior to the interaction he has with Peter, chronicling the events of the Netflix series, mentioning some of his friends and all that. And then they took it down. When She-Hulk came back around, it was back up, and they even included links to the Netflix series side of things, and of course the music plays in the episode. So I think this is them sort of leaning into it. Again, you can realistically look at Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and go, oh yeah, first four and a half seasons, totally canon. The moment they start messing with the timeline and time travel and the quantum realm around the events of Infinity War to Endgame, that's where everything else goes non-canon, if you will. So where they end up by the end, who knows? Maybe it's in the same universe, maybe not, but it doesn't matter. What this confirms is the first handfuls of seasons, at least in my mind, up until they start multiverse hopping, is officially canon, 100%.